Hi there, and welcome to day five of 40 Days of Prayer. And today I'm a little bit out of sync with uh, the reading, but uh, I want to talk to you about uh, uncertainty, because COVID certainly is a time that we're not certain what the future is going to be. And there was a, a point where this was really getting me down. Uh, I was experiencing, um, I, I guess, uh, expectations that things would be eased and then things began to turn the other way after they eased a little. And I thought, how, how can I plan for the future? How can I plan Christmas services or everything? And everything seemed to be uncertain. And we could say, well, we'll do head this way if we get... Uh, restrictions lifted but what if we don't they may become more severe so I found the only way to, to deal with that was actually to assume that nothing much would change to the end of the year but there's a couple of great biblical stories about dealing with uncertainty and uh, the first one is is Nehemiah uh, Nehemiah uh, heard that the people of Jerusalem were in great trouble and difficulty and uh, he be actually prayed for four months and at the end of the four months, he went to speak to the king. And uh, he was at this point where the king asked him what was wrong. And he, he said uh, that he, he prayed and then spoke to the king. He had no idea what the king's response would be. The king could be very angry with him. But he would prayed and he would fasted and then he took action. And the other great example is Esther. And Esther is very similar because uh, the Jews are going to be uh, persecuted, uh, even annihilated. A and Esther is uh, the queen. She's in the palace. She can go to the king, but it's dangerous going to the king because the law requires her to be put to death unless the king extends the scepter to her. A and this time, uh, Esther and her uncle Mordecai and uh, her handmaidens and other Jews are all to spend three days in prayer and fasting. And then she says, I'm just going to go to the king. And if I die, I die. Well, well, both these people, they had massive amounts of uncertainty. And both of them actually did the same thing. They prayed and fasted. They thought about it, listened to God, and then they took action. Uh, still not knowing what was going to happen. Uh, and I think uh, this is this is an important thing, that we shouldn't be influenced by fear, but instead we should be uh, influenced by uh, our faith, being willing to pray to God, uh, fast, and then take action. And after our praying, we actually need to, to make a decision. And, and in making a decision, we're actually taking that step of faith, we're, we're moving forward. And I think these things are, are of great encouragement to us uh, in times of uncertainty. And I hope you can deal with uncertainty in this fashion of prayer and fasting. Uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you can catch me on Monday. Things will look a bit uh, more normal then. And uh, I hopefully will be back on track with the readings from the 40 Days of Prayer. Bye for now.